In uh, other news tonight, Siani, a man spends nearly four years in prison for murder, and he has said all along that he is not guilty, and the facts bear him out. Today, he walked away a free man. News 10's Laurel Fairworth was there as he walked away from his nightmare. <laughs> there were hugs all around after Terry McCracken learned he was finally a free man. Every time I think about actually being able to make up my mind on what I'm going to do for the rest of my life, tears seem to swell up in my eyes. Convicted of murder, McCracken spent almost four years in prison. He's been out on appeal since 1986 when he won a new trial. We had no doubt on what the outcome was going to be. We worked hard and we vindicated an innocent man. And it didn't hurt when this man, a witness who helped put McCracken away, recanted. I was coerced into it. I was forced to give testimony I didn't want to give. And then what made you change your mind? My heart, my God. I need to answer to my God, and that's it. The crime occurred here at what was then Kelly's Deli, 12 years ago on a Friday. According to police, one man went into the store, held it up, and in the process, shot a man dead. James Harmer told us he was the first person in the shop after the shooting. But I noticed he was uh, shot in the back, I think. When I rolled him over, he was come out the front of his uh, throat. How'd that affect you? Well, it's... It was a little eerie. In Collingdale, where most people know one another, in a bar across the street, there's mixed emotions. I hope they find a real killer someday, instead of uh, legal harangues. And as for McCracken, he is. I'm going to work tomorrow, and going to work the next day, and the next day, just like all of you. McCracken told us he is working at a Harley Davidson store in Lancaster and plans to make up for lost time. I'm Laurel Fairworth, live in the News Center. Back to you in the...